Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in this video, let's travel together from Bengaluru to Agartala. My flight was around 8 in the morning. I had to get up at 3, get ready and get myself into this airport bus. It took me around 2 hours and just 250 rupees to reach the airport whereas it would have taken me more than 1000 if I had come by a cab. Interesting fact, Bangalore Airport is the first fully solar-powered airport in India. How cool is that? By the way guys, the name of Bangalore Airport is Kempagoda International Airport. It is named after the founder of Bangalore, Mr. Kempagoda. Also, Bangalore Airport is 4000 acres, whereas Agartala Airport is just 72 acres. Okay, the airport was so so huge that I couldn't find my gate and I almost missed my flight and it was the final call. But thank god I got my bus to my flight. So my biggest fear is the takeoff part where we just just uh, take off from the surface and we are on the air and that feeling is really scary. So Agartala is about 3500 kilometers from here. That's Bangalore for you. Bye bye Bangalore. See you next time. Just landed in Kolkata, the land of Machir Jhul and Rasagulla. Also, how can we forget our Momota Didi? She once said that Kolkata is the gateway to northeastern countries. Now we are about 1500 kilometers from Agartala. Going to board my flight for Agartala. So finally I am going to reach Agartala in about 40 minutes. So let's see how the weather is there because I am quite ready for any kind of weather that's coming ahead of me quite a beautiful beautiful day today my dad is cooking some desi chicken for me with some gudok my traditional food from tripura Put your seats for the off. thank you time for the really really scary takeoff i'm really really scared of heights but we have to do this and we had to fly through Bangladesh to reach Agartala and we are already here just landed in my stay Tripura. So many hand DJ, we have Agartala Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived in Agartala. Indigo wishes you a very pleasant stay here or a happy onward journey. Thank you for making us a part of your travel plan. Hey guys, welcome to Agartala. Finally, we have bus in Tripura now. Agartala airport is too small, we don't need bus. We can just walk. We are very into fitness. The exit is there and the flight was from here. There was right and we have to walk till there. Because we are healthy people. Healthy Kill people, love walking. BB Airport, Maharaja B. Vikram Airport. Small airport, see, we enter here and we just reached. Look who came to pick me up. Say hi to my mom and dad. <laughs> and that's a King Maharaja B. Vikram who built this airport in 1942. Mom and dad. Same, same, no. It's exactly the same. I feel like it's worse. Just 8 kilometers drive from here, and we will be home. It will take us about 15 minutes drive. Hey guys, this is my old school. Hotel here. Where is it? Oh. Five 
have reached the main uh, city here. Tamu kamu mau zangan bu? Circuit house. Circuit house. And that is Assam rifle. By the way guys, when it's summer, it's quite hot here in Agartala as the Tropic of Capricorn passes through Tripura. That is Buddha Mandir. This is Radhanagar station. You can go to any part of Tripura from this station. Come to Manda, eh? Bus, bus, ma'am, na? Bus, ma'am, ma'am. Okay, okay. Only in Tripura, right? Only in Tripura, Komalpur, Khoai. Go to, you can't go out, you won't get vehicles. Please, 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 please. Oh, very nice. Oh, oh, the popular bridge. This is the popular bridge. It's just for innovating. What is that? 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 Lake Chomani. That's the vegetable market and my dad gets all the fresh vegetables here. Stable ground. Stable ground. Bengalis are trying to change the name to Swami Vivekananda. Has already changed the name to Swami Vivekananda. And that is stable ground. That's a stable ground. That was a king's stable where he used to keep all his horses and other animals. So it was called stable ground until the recent past. Now sadly the name has been changed. When you are in Agartala you will come across all the small rickshawalas. It's really easy for Bangladeshis to pass through the border and survive here in Agartala by making a livelihood from this rickshaws. Illegal Bangladeshi immigration is the highest in our state in India. Colonel. Also note that the illegal immigration is not because of the religious persecution, but they come for survival in India as India is like heaven for the Bangladeshis. There's so much poverty there and here everything is available. Sadly, these Bangladeshi immigrants are going to easily be getting Indian citizenship with the help of the present government. Oh, sorry. CAA has recently been passed where they are going to be granted citizenship. But the sad part is for us, the indigenous people of Tripura, we have just become 30% from 90% in our own state. As you have heard my mom say, it takes a lot of time for anything to be fixed here. Finally, stay tuned for the next vlog guys.